everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries Necronator Dead Wrong. The way I understand this game, and we're gonna play it together as we always do on Northern Lion Tries to learn with the mechanics. It is a deck building strategy game. It says it's got little bits of micro, like from a real time strategy game. When I watch the footage and the trailer and stuff like that, to me it looks like it's a little bit more tower defensey. Not that those are necessarily two, like, wildly divergent ideas. Um, it just came out. It's got positive reviews. It's 20 bucks. It's hard to tell because it's 2051 Canadian and 2280 on a normal day, which could mean it's 20 US. It could mean it's 18. It's all backwards up here, okay? But I did receive this for free from the publisher slash developer, so thank you for that. We're gonna get started here. You know I like a deck builder. You know I like uh, a strategy game that doesn't necessarily require me to, you know, uncouple my brain from its comfort level and overheat and have steam coming out of my ears as I try to figure out how many, you know, Zerg pools to drop. Sure, okay. I mean, you know what? I'm just going to assume that this is where you want me to be. Because this is my first time playing the game. The time is now. Let's embark on an epic conquest to destroy the living. Tutorial on. Thank you. There's your seat if you want to play along with me. Might be a little premature. <laughs> you open a letter and it says, Congratulations, you've just graduated from the Undead Academy. As a freshly certified villain, prepare to embark... Oh, prepared to embark upon your very own quest for world conquest. The Academy hereby presents you with a patented soul spawn crystal. Please attach it to your arm and the crystal will, per will permanently bind itself to your life force. No substitutions or refunds. It's a new record. I only stumbled over my words twice while reading two paragraphs. A soul spawn crystal is the latest technology in summoning undead minions to the field of battle. Yours has been linked to your body and soul for all eternity. Do not damage it. Now that you've bound yourself to the crystal, why don't you test it out by attacking a helpless village? Go forth into the world and spread your evil far and wide. May chaos reign. I'm ready. Teach me. Pretend you're the Beatles and hold my hand. Okay. Getting the 360 degree view. I'm seeing the topography. Pay mana to play cards. Your mana regens automatically. Got it? So I guess it's not really tower defense. It's It seems a little bit more like tower assault. Like we're, we're playing the minions. Units au <clears throat> automatically move and fight enemies. Change movement by clicking the signpost. Play spells and utility cards to support your units in battle. Sure, okay. Can you pause? Is there a pause button? Is this a pausable real-time strategy game? It is not. So when we get 20 mana, we will play a skeleton. There you go. And here they go. You know what? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go around this way. Uh, but put your armor on first. There you go. Excuse me, we'll play another skeleton as soon as possible. I'm being attacked myself, which, to be honest with you, seems extremely unfair. Target enemy 50 damage stun in a small area. I guess we'll wait until we have a few more enemies uh, ready for that. Oh, no, 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 right here. Ah, uh, send them. Look at that. Now they're weak in advance. Send your Fletchers out this way. Overdraw. Overdraw one card. I don't know what overdraw means. Maybe draw greater than your hand size is my guess. Well, I gotta tell you, I feel like I'm getting my butt kicked so far. I don't know if I should be worried. I guess it's who destroys whose castle first, right? Okay, please, there you go. Spawn some soldiers. Oh, and our own uh, base attacks them. I understand. Blood Rage. Make your units stronger. Okay. Armor up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we've got <laughs> legendary units. Who are still dead, but an attempt was made. That's okay. Zap those guys and overdraw real quick. And we'll just wait it out. These guys are already pretty wounded. I feel like we're doing uh, just an absolutely terrible job. Just just a, a horrible job so far. But they are already dead. Perhaps we can destroy <laughs> their crystal. <laughs> or their, their castle, I should say. Their crystal is a long way away. But damage is being done. No, 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 no. Do not play that. Uh, honestly, play some soldiers here. You know, they're getting close to our base. Our portal has been attacked, and their portal has not even been touched. Put some armor on these boys. Overdraw quickly. 
We're gonna need this zap ASAP, I think, to make sure we make it through this fight. Look at that. Probably just completely wasted it. Please move. Please move a little faster. You can get something done. You can get something done here. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. We need a win here. Get, get a blood rage on a single unit that got killed instantaneously mere seconds later. 153 seconds until enemy reinforcements. Okay. I feel like, so far, I'm not accomplishing my goal of not being garbage. However, this thing's almost dead. You may notice that although it seems like I'm getting my butt kicked, and maybe I am, uh, I did not spawn with a castle in the middle. They have a huge advantage with this castle in the middle. Get some skeletons out. We finally got numbers, dude. I think this thing's going down. <laughs> Come on, ice it. Ice it. We're, it's haunted now. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause it. I guess it is possible real time. I just want to lower my own webcam slightly. Put me like right here. Okay, so now do we take control of their castle? And it generates way more mana for us. Okay, okay. So we're learning. We get mana from both now. I understand. Yeah, sure. I'll spend 10 to overdraw. Zap these boys right here. Oh, they're done. You will be killed. There is no doubt in my mind. I know they spawn back here, but hold on. Oh, hey, come on. You know what? Just spam them. I know we could have gotten the blood rage out there. Don't sweat it. Put some armor on these guys. Okay. Collateral damage. Give them the blood rage. Give them the blood. Oh my god. Give them the blood rage. Felt like we were making moves there. Did a lot of damage. Excuse me, are, are you... I don't know if they... Maybe they can attack our castle and take it back. So here's my thinking. Give them a 40. Give them a 40. Now we got two sets of soldiers coming out. Quick zap. Quick zap. These guys are going to be in a world of hurt. Let's overdraw real quick, even though now that I think about it, I really don't think the overdraw has been that useful for us. Probably would benefit from just putting more units out on the field as quickly as possible. <laughs> No armor up required right now, in my opinion. Let's get some Fletchers out there and then some basic meat. And after you guys kill them, get close enough to attack and then we'll armor up. Because they slow down, I think, when they... And give them a Blood Rage. Look at that. And then a quick enemy zap. Oh, it's over. It's over. You, you don't stand a chance. Look at that. Ye of little faith, you thought I couldn't make it happen. Victory. Took me a second to wrap my head around it, but now I'm starting to get it. Okay. I know there is some Slay the Spire inspiration. So, they, I mean, this in and of itself looks very Slay the Spire-ish for sure. Chubats flock across the sky. One lands beside you, perching on a dead tree. Impressive, says the Chubat. You could be the next Necronator. You know about the Necronator, right? The Chubat looks at you. Greatest Dark Lord to ever terrorize the world? He lost his power a hundred years ago? Ring any bells? Anyway, luckily for you, I know how to reclaim it, and I'm currently accepting work as a consultant for aspiring tyrants. What, don't think I'm trustworthy? Just to show I'm on your side, I'll give you a gift. Pick one. Gain faster mana regen when you have low mana. Gain souls, which I'm assuming is like a currency. Or draft a squad. You know what? Get me from 0 to 10 mana twice as fast. And then draft a card. Oh, this is a card. Okay. Excellent choice. Since you've accepted my gift, that makes us partners. I always give the best advice. You won't regret. Listen to me. First, you've got to conquer a few towns. Defeat an army or two just to prove you're worthy. I'm sure an up-and-coming scourge to humankind like you can handle it. All right. I'm starting to pick it up. Um, let's... I mean, this is a campfire or loot, I'm assuming. Let's just go straight ahead and then see what's going on over here. The elves think this is holy land. Holy, more like it's going to be filled with holes after we rampage across the countryside. Don't stop until you've defeated every hero that stands in your way. All right. I got to say, I love the graphical style. I love this, like, Warcraft 3. I don't, I don't even know what words I would use to describe it. But, like, the, the textures look like they're out of... Uh, like a real-time strategy game from the mid-1990s, but also, like, modernized. It gives it a real sense of character. Okay, we... It is passive. We're generating uh, staggering amounts of mana. Uh, 
Just looking at the battlefield, because you know they're going to be posting, you know, some stuff soon. Uh, so I guess if we want to maximize our mana generation, we should be playing things constantly. Like, very, very rarely should we save. Hello, you are sheep. Armored sheep that give us a debuff of some sort. You know what? Take Blood Rage. You know why you take Blood Rage? Because as soon as we spend, we start making mana even faster. Puts oh, wait. This is so much better, dude. We killed the castle in like the first, you know, few seconds here. So at 30, give him an overdraw real quick. We definitely want buffs. Um, we won't play Zap yet. Now we'll play Zap. Following that, oh, it just killed him. <laughs> Following that, we will put him into a Blood Rage. I think this is already over, dude. I think I have a, I have established a strategy early on. When, trust me, by the way, nobody is more surprised than me. Did you watch me play Besiege yesterday? If you haven't, I would recommend it, just for the record. Which, of course, I would, but still. Um, oh, they're sending out new dudes. Zap them. Um, and overdraw. But yesterday when we played Besiege, I was, you know, getting my butt kicked. What's going on here? Might be, this is early access, so you might encounter a bug now and then. It did just come out, like, literally yesterday. Keep it in mind. Guess we don't even have to go back, we can just drag it out from here. So we can just spam every time we hit 20, 30, or 40. Get it out there so we get mana ASAPP. Presumably you're going to spawn a minion at some point. If not, if not, I just zap for no reason. That's okay. Hey, it's a tutorial, baby. He just, he's a homebody. He just likes the castle. Anyway, I didn't really finish my point. But if you watched me play Besiege yesterday, you know how much of a foreign concept it is for me to uh, actually be doing what appears to be okay early on. In a game, I mean, Besiege was just embarrassing, but I come by it honestly. I gotta tell you, I think we got a great, I'm just gonna call it a relic. I think we got a great relic right from the start here. To generate so much mana so quickly. Even if it's not that good, it's extremely great because it helped me crystallize a game plan earlier. You know, knowing what I'm doing, even if that thing isn't super efficient, is probably uh, the most effective competitive advantage I could possibly have right now. It's okay. We've lost a little momentum. It's gonna happen from time to time. Oh, baby, that's gonna clear the lane. And if we can play this Blood Rage, I'm pretty sure... I mean, you only have 94 HP left, so... Just give him a Blood Rage real quick. It's all over. Okay. Dude, I like this. I, I Can I tell you something? I've said this before. I said this specifically about Slay This Fire. I love a card game and a strategy game by extension that doesn't require you to play online against other people who are net decking, have the strongest decks of all time, and live their whole life and base their whole self-esteem on how many uh, wins versus losses they have in Hearthstone. To be able to just beat up on an AI and have a reasonable degree of challenge? Oh, that's that's it for me, because that's I've pinned my self-esteem to my wins and losses. So I would rather just play against uh, something that wants me to win. <laughs> Not that gives me the win, but that wants me to win. So definitely a lot of Slay the Spire inspired systems here, but that means we can fit in pretty easily and know what we're doing here. Hmm, I'm just looking at what we got. We can skip and get money. Souls. But your next card... 50% mana cost is played twice. A ranged unit. Okay, so we already have a Fletcher, of course. Overdraw. Perk. Overdrawn plus 25% mana regeneration. Exhaust. Perk lasts until the end of battle. So we pay 15. When we play this, anytime we're overdrawn, our mana generates faster. I kind of like the idea of that. Let, let's give that a try. Restore 25% of portal HP. Okay, that's persistent. Or upgrade. Alright. What have we liked so far? Um, oh, you can choose upgrades. I do like that too. 
Overdraw one card. So this puts you in overdraw, of immedi overdraw immediately, or it makes all overdraws in the future better. Honestly, let's do that. I know we could probably go for something else, but I think I would rather, uh, I'd rather start with that. We've accidentally chosen the easiest path of all time. <laughs> uh, we don't have the opportunity to do any of these except easy spells. So um, we will get a random spell. Zap. Dude, Zap's been sweet for us. And we could actually skip it if we wanted to, but I will... I think I'll take a second Zap. It's been really useful for keeping momentum going. Um, and we will upgrade another card. I was thinking about, like... Overdraw one card, give it negative 10 mana cost. Oh, baby. I don't even know what a squad card is, to be honest with you. Give, give me the boost overdraw. I think that right now, we're playing like a white weenie deck in Magic. Everything's gonna be cheap, and by cheap I mean easy to get out. Uh, easy to play, I should say. And this is a shop. Um, can't really afford too much here, so honestly, I, I think we're just leaving. I apologize for wasting your time. We got like a, an elite, a mini boss, Lord Balderdash. Villain, too weak to stay in the cold. Not like me, I love the cold. This isn't even cold, I'm sweating. I'm hot, don't you dare say I'm cold. I'll teach you what it means to really freeze. Okay, CEO of wearing shorts in January because he thinks it makes him look like a cool dude. Yeah, there it is. I see, diorama style. I, of course, I'm very familiar. Okay, press any to skip. Uh... Why not start with a Tactical Overload? Next card we play costs 10 less, right? So on 30... Oh, wait, doesn't it cost... I thought it cost 10 less. Maybe I'm mistaken. So I think we want to play a Soldier, and then get ready for Zap ASAP. And then we just Zap these guys. That's going to help us out a great deal. <laughs> and... I think, honestly, I'd rather just get these boys uh, Blood Raging. And then hopefully we can get the zap in time to kill these other sheep. And then we can maybe think about... Oh, put some armor on them. Beautiful. Give me a boost overdraw real quick. Then we can think about getting more units out there. Play some skeletons. We've, that was so quick. I'm probably the greatest player in the game. That's just my estimation. Why don't you guys pivot right here? Why don't, why don't you pivot so we got two lanes coming in? Get some, uh, you know, glass cannons out there. Kill these sheep before they have a chance to get going. Stun these guys, get them out of here. Look, let's be honest, they're... Oh, there we go, it did cost 10 less that time. They're, they're sending some heat at us now, but I'm not, uh, I'm not overly concerned about this. I think the blood rage has got them under control. And, uh... I mean, honestly, we could probably just spam units and crush them right now. Hit him with the zap real quick though. Hit him with the Fletcher. Hit him with the boost overdraw. Oh, hit him with another zap. Oh, armor these boys up. Is this what it means to snowball? I've never hit this level of acumen in a, in a card game this quickly. That might mean it's easy. <laughs> Did I miss? I, maybe I should have moved the camera on those guys. There will be no enemy reinforcements today, I promise you that. Alright, we should send some units down this way this time. Um, I don't think you need the armor up. I, I I think I'll have the huge lane armor. There we go. So they will be slower, but should get the job done. With Blood Rage, that might hit us to lethal already. Oh, baby. Another armor up. I think I put that on a single unit. That's pretty obviously my bad. This seems really cool so far. You can see, like, the... Certainly, like, it's... There's Slay the Spire inspirations, and I don't just mean, like... Sometimes when I say stuff like that, people go like, Oh, you thought Slay the Spire was the first deck builder? That's cute. I've been playing, you know, Ascension since I was four years old. Six months ago. And, uh... I go, you know, that's fine. But I think this is a situation where definitely, um... It appears to me... Like, lessons learned from Slay the Spire and design choices in that game have been applied here. And I'm happy to see it. I've said for, I don't want to say years, because, you know, it hasn't really been out for... Well, it has been out for a few years. But I think Slay the Spire is going to have, like, a... I think it's going to have a similar impact on, like, the Steam ecosystem 
for deck builders and strategy type games that uh, Isaac had oh so many years ago. Uh, but for more like, I don't want to say casual, but for more like action oriented roguelites. And uh, I'm, I'm always up for playing more deck building inspired strategy games. Can I tell you? I thought we would have crushed this man by now. But the castle, his castle is too strong. I don't know what happened. There you go. That's what we need. He, he's pushed us back in our own lane, embarrassingly. When did your units get so strong? We're just gonna... <laughs> we're gonna spam mana as fast as we freaking can. We're gonna create a bottleneck the likes of which you've never seen. I think I need more cards that are not units. And the main reason why is because I very much like playing them. I find it... It just feels more satisfying. You know, you put down a skeleton, the skeleton's doing the work. I choose not to cast this. I have cast... I have discard... You can discard? What a world, dude. Well, we'll just zap you. I don't know how much that's gonna help. You're... You're like a champion level minion. Yeah, you're super strong. Okay, let's... Let's put some stuff in your way. Uh, and let's armor up these guys. Maybe they can live a little longer. I'll tell you. Don't really want skeletons. Why don't you go ahead and discard? No? Okay. I'll tell you what, then. I'll play you. I'll play you instead. <laughs> Enemy reinforcements are incoming. How come he gets a sweet champion, dude? Where's my champion? Okay, pivot this way. Uh, zap these sheep. There you go. Now you buy yourself a little bit of time. Now you buy yourself a little bit of time. I hate to do it. I'll armor these guys up even though it kind of slows them down. There you go. Stun those guys a little bit. I think we lost focus. We started using the part of our brain that was like, hey, compare this to other games. The audience loves that. And uh, it put me in a... It put me at a disadvantage. Now we're getting back to the... I shouldn't have done that, but it still hit a couple of units. Now we're getting back to the good stuff. Spamming cards. When you see a card, play it, etc., etc. Alright, let's pivot this way again. Honestly, reinforcements incoming. Uh... I think I just completely missed with my blood rage, too. This is too many enemies. I will tell you... Full stop. This is too many enemies. And we probably should have tried to win a little earlier. Um, because this is not going particularly well anymore. They're just non-stop spawning out of the castle. So I think when you get down to zero, essentially that means you lost. I understand that. Now there is no restart, because this is like a it's a roguelite style game, right? There there's just no win. Because like we're still they're pouring out every two seconds, so. I think we might as well, to be honest, just let them finish the job here. And it probably will not take very long. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Continue. I was too slow. I was too slow. The journey ends for now. Oh, we didn't even get to the first unlock. Alright, we probably won't play a whole uh, new game. But we'll... Uh, We'll try a little bit more. Still only one scenario, too. No tutorial this time. Let's move on. What do you got for me early? Maybe we'll try building in a different way. Draft a squad, draft a spell, draft a utility. Give me a squad. Demolition unit. So it probably, I'm assuming it blows itself up. And I have chosen it. I kind of wanted to take the stealth unit. That's my bad. Still learning the UX. Okay, enter the battle here. So a demolition unit, we probably want to use against squishy melee targets. If my very limited and, you know, not that uh, necessarily intelligent analysis means anything. Sure. Oh, hold on. There's some skeletons out there. Overdraw. I, I will say, I don't think Overdraw does too much for us early, but... Yo, you some quickness. Here's what I'm thinking. You got a lot of dudes there? Let's, let's go see what this bomber does, right? I had a feeling they were going to win this battle because of where it was taking place. Cancel them out. That'll work. Okay. Send them a Scally. If we can fight, like, over here, that would be ideal. 
So we're not in range of the... Oh, let's go. So we're not in range of the tower, but this one's going to be in range of the tower. I'm not used to this slow mana regen, dude. Okay, you got to send some Fletchers at him. Man, I forgot, like, things were actually really hard for us in the early game last time. Redraw for 20-somethings. That won't be necessary. You might as well armor up and hopefully you can do a little damage here. It's all, I think, about getting this thing taken out in a reasonable time frame and then you kind of snowball from there. But you take 20 mana to redraw. I can't believe I said 20 somethings. Okay. So I, I kind of feel like maybe the bomber is what you send out against the. Well, it probably makes way more sense as a personnel um, destruction tool. Because it'll probably get killed by the. Uh, by the tower before it reaches it, but maybe I'm mistaken. So I thought this was worth saving, you know, taking some time to, uh, you know, put out a little bit of a tankier unit. We'll overdraw while we're here, just because, yeah, Zap would be really nice. Blood Rage would be really nice. It helps. It's not a huge deal necessarily, but it helps. Just get some, get some units on the field. You know, you don't have a whole lot of time here. I mean, three minutes is, uh... It's not a ton. I'm hoping maybe that the demolition unit can actually get in there this time. Uh, let's overdraw to look for, like, a zap. Armor up, I think, is okay as well. And here, this could be big. It was not as big as I... Oh, it was huge! It was huge! And we've taken control of this now, so we got double mana. So this, this should be relatively safe. I think step one is honestly just, you know, spam out some units, get a numeric advantage. Try not to get stuck on the terrain. Send out some skeleton. It's just fodder. And then hopefully the Fletchers will live long enough for me to pop this out here. And this will hopefully... Oh, well, if you can put that out there, even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this, this could do it right here, honestly. I don't know, 3,000 HP is admittedly kind of a lot. Might take us a bit. This is a really accessible deck building strategy game. I've, you, you know, you've heard me say it, you know, 25 times this year even. Um, no, 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 I'd, I'd much rather play a soldier. Um, I've played a lot of deck builders this year, and some of them... Yo, 600 damage! Uh, that was sick. Uh, some of them are like, you know, pretty interesting. Like, I always go back to, to Grifflands is like super interesting. And the way that it's like, uh, almost like, you know, you're gonna laugh when I say this, but it's almost a Bethesda style RPG, but instead of, you know, Fuzro dying people, you use your cards to either fight or negotiate. Um, those games are really cool, but some of the ones that I've played this year are like, uh, you know, it, it, it lacks a certain charm or character to, like, really, uh, you know, get you excited about playing more. But I don't think this has that problem. It definitely wears its inspirations on its sleeves, but, you know, at the same time, it's also fun to play. And I think it's aided in that by the fact that it's definitely unique. It's not just like, hey, we made Spire, but, you know, it's, it's not fair to say because Spire, you know, was in development for a long time and is also like a... You know, as far as games go, it's a rarity to be that good and that polished. But, you know, a lot of the deck builders I played are like, Slay the Spire, but kind of worse. This pivots off of that, and I think that that does very well for it. Um, an AoE ranged unit that costs 60 mana. I gotta be honest. Scary, but exciting. Then let's keep moving on. Maybe we will do a whole run, which again is great news for the how I feel about the quality of the game. <laughs> I at least want to kill, like, an elite and see what we get out of that. Okay. So where do we start here? I think, uh... I mean, I, I kind of think we should just save up for a soldier if possible. Because if you send out a skeleton, like, it's gonna get destroyed there. So I think you send out a soldier instead, it'll probably get a little bit of momentum. And then you'll wait till you get zap and you'll use the zap on the sheep. They'll all die, and now you got a little momentum. Now for soldiers, we could Blood Rage if it seems like they're gonna 
last, but I think we have a we have a tempo advantage right now. Forgive the terminology. Um, so why not just spam some units out there? I don't really want an overdrive right now, to be honest. Overdraw, I should say. Sure, let's let's give them blood rage. If they weren't alive, I wasn't gonna give them blood rage, but they are alive, and we are we're doing great stuff right now. <clears throat> so for me, I actually think this is bomber territory. <coughs> If our units are going to live long enough, maybe they won't. Maybe we'll lose our momentum here. Let's see if we can draw a zap. No zap. Okay, let's just spam them. Take the sheep. Yo, if the bomber makes it to the building, it's going to do like 500 damage. Okay, I think now we can just spam, basically. I don't think the bomber's going to make it. It's totally going to make it. That is way stronger than I give it credit for. Okay, we should save up for the Demon Mage. We got enough units out on the field right now. Let's see what the Demon Mage is capable of. It is slow. And Zap will buy us a lot of time. In fact, Armor Up will buy us a lot of time as well. Why not Overdraw Fish for those spells if, there's, if we get to reshuffle? Dude, the demo men, so good. So I'm just gonna hydrate. You can hear me. I gotta clear my throat from time to time. <coughs> Too much talking. Yo, they're good. I support it. Okay, soldier. Send them. Uh, bomber for sure. Not very good at assault but extremely good at anti-personnel no 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 don't de demo man you don't explode there that's not your time just give it a sec we we have the luxury of waiting to respond a little i zapped there were no units but i zapped anyway why because i wanted to a bad habit but in my brain I was like this will work dude 33 souls draft the card should we try a stealth unit it can't be hit when it's in combat is that or when it's not in combat is that correct and then as far as upgrades go I'm hoping that maybe this costs less nope Armor Breaker or Ranged Unit instead of just... No, it's a... Hold on. What do you get here? I might be dumb, but I feel like you're getting nothing here that you're not also getting here. Okay. We'll go for this one then. That might just be a visual thing. Like, maybe it... I could be missing something as well, to be honest with you. You're in luck. Undead contestants. We're offering double your souls. Sure, I'll place a 50-unit bet. Sure, I'll place a 100-unit bet. I won. I told you, I'm extremely good at video games. Enter the battle. So I'm, I've revised my thoughts. I think this will probably be the last one that we do, but I'm having a good time with the game so far. I have to police myself and make sure I'm stopping. I give this the, the Northern Lion seal of approval. Up to this point. Even though I never touch the signs. Okay, so we're just looking. We're responding a little bit. Because here's my take. If we can send out a bomber that won't get hit, that's a lot of damage dealt, right? So, if we can zap guys, slow them down. And just have our bomber blow this thing up. We're probably in a pretty good spot. That that did a lot of damage as far as I'm concerned. Now these guys are going to get crushed easily. I don't think we need to put out another another unit to stop them. Sorry, I just realized I am covering part of the screen. <laughs> that, that didn't do much, I'll admit. We're waiting for Soldier. I don't know. To get some momentum, Demon Mage might be nice. Give these guys some armor. But to save up for Demon Mage is not easy. And we're getting hit from here as well, which is unfortunate. Yo, Demon Blade. There we go. So just just hit it a little. You know, we, we got a little momentum. Let's keep the pressure on. 
too many ranged units, unfortunately. It's gonna it's gonna slow us down a little bit. They got a lot coming down the pipe. Let's send out our demon blade. So they will not be attacked on it doesn't really help us out too much here. Because I was, I was just going to say, I'm assuming that they're going to be relatively weak themselves. Oh, I didn't even spawn the Fletcher, so let's spawn a soldier instead. This time, I think we will fish for our spells, because I think we'd like them. We don't see them. That's okay. I have a feeling that... I don't think our bomber is going to do too much, but I think we are going to take this building. So let's send the bomber. I don't think they're going to stop the bomber. Let's put it that way. I would like to redraw, but I'm unwilling to spend the mana. So we just... Okay, there we go. That armor up will be nice. We have taken control, finally. You guys will be killed without any extra help required. They're sending out a super unit. Let's just spam. I'm spamming right now. You don't need armor. You know what? Let's give you armor, actually. I think you having lower move speed would be would be totally fine. And then let's, yeah, send out this. I know we've still got the Brutal Demon Mage, okay? Shouldn't have even bothered using it on that one, guy, but... I think that we do want the Demon Mage to come out now. I know we have Blood Rage. I don't think we need it just yet. I'm waiting on the Brutal Demon Mage. Then when we get to 25, these guys are getting the, the Blood Rage for sure. Look at that. We wanted him to do as much damage as possible before things really, you know, hit the fan. I think if we start sending, like, bombers, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Obviously, we need, like, tanky units, or we need to make our units tanky to really take down their defenses. We only have, like, a minute. <laughs> it's definitely not easy. Yeah, take, take the fastest path possible, please. With only a minute, well, a minute and a half remaining, I think that it's definitely important that we do a couple of things. One is send bombers as often as possible. The other one is send units as often as possible. And you know what? If your units can live longer... This will only benefit us. Come on, we need this momentum, dude. We'd rather have archers, I think, than... Uh, than... Uh, like, stealth weak units. Though I hate to say it, the archers do do a lot of damage. They don't have a lot of armor. Spells, please. Oh, there we go, okay. So if we can get like a big group of individuals and then hit them with the world's greatest blood rage. Because right now, I don't know. Pivot, please. I don't know if this is going to get it done, dude. We only got 40 seconds left. I think these guys being blood raged is our best chance. But it only lasts 10 seconds, so get ready. Send them. <laughs> and the bomber has to be sent immediately. Give them some, Oh my god. All right, we're going to lose again. Bomber, dude. We we let the siege go on so long, they a whole new generation came out to destroy us. I, don't, I really don't know if there's any way you can defeat the... You know, when enemy reinforcements arrive. They, it seems like they get so much momentum that it's just, you know, cancel Christmas. So clearly, I'm, I'm hitting like a sticking point here. I mean, you, you're watching them pour out at this point. We might as well just give up. <laughs> um, but this is uh, Necronator Dead Wrong. It seems very cool so far. I had a great time in this video. You can check it out for yourself on Steam. It'll be linked in the video description below. And of course, I did receive a copy of this for free from the developer and publisher. Please keep that in mind that that has been disclosed. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!